Hey guys, hope you're having a good fun. Today, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to remove somebody else's Apple ID from your iPhone, or essentially how to remove iCloud activation lock without knowing the password. Now, the method that I'm going to be showing you guys in today's video is absolutely safe and covers a wide range of Apple devices, including iPhones, iPads, and even iPods. Now, talking about the iOS versions, well, you don't have to worry even if you are on the latest version, which is, by the way, iOS 14 as of now, because this method is going compatible from iOS 12 to iOS 14. Now guys, for this method, we're going to be using a foamy key software from Tenoshare in order to recover our Apple devices. Now before we begin with the process, I want to let you know guys that I have a good and a somewhat not so good news for you all. Let's begin with the good one. Now the tool that we're going to be using foamy key software, although it is available to download for free, but it actually requires a paid license to function. But big thanks to Tenoshare who have given me a promo code that you guys can use to get 30% off your purchase. I'm going to be putting that somewhere out of the screen and also inside of the video description along with the other relevant links. So make sure to check that out. On top of that, Tenorshare is also giving me five promo codes that I can give away to you people. So all you got to do to get one is just comment down below and let me know how to get stuck with the iCloud activation lock in the first place. And also follow me on Instagram. All right, now let's get to the other side of the story. Well, the method that we're going to be using actually comes with some limitations and let me go ahead and talk about them real quick. So once you remove the iCloud activation lock from your Apple device, you're not going to be able to use cellular functions of your Apple device. Like you won't be able to make phone calls, you won't be able to send text messages over GSM, your cellular data won't work, and most importantly, you won't be able to benefit yourself of the iCloud services. But let me tell you, you will be able to download the apps from the App Store using your new Apple ID. Another limitation, if you somehow get to update your device to the next version of iOS, the device will be locked and you would have to repeat the same steps in order to get your device unlocked using Foamy Key software. You can also get your device locked if you try to restart your device, but again, if you do the entire process again from the scratch, you're going to be able to unlock your device using the Foamy Key software. Alright guys, now opening up the very first link provided in the video description, you will be taken to this page. From there, you can download the 4 key software. Now before I go on showing you guys the process of removing the iCloud activation lock, I want to show you guys this screen over here which shows the supported Apple devices and the iOS versions that support this method. Now once you have downloaded the software, go ahead and open it up on your PC. Now the very first thing that you gotta do before you can begin with the process is register yourself for this software. Check the link down in the description to learn more about that. All right, once you have registered, go ahead and tap on the start button. After that, connect your Apple device with your PC. Now agree with the terms and conditions of this software and then tap on the next button. After that, the forming key software will start getting connected with your device. So now for that, you're going to be taken to this screen. Now for this method, guys, your Apple device has to be jailbroken in order to work with this software. But don't worry if you have never jailbroken your device in past there's a complete jailbreaking guide made by Tenorshare covering every single step on how you can jailbreak your device using Chakrin jailbreak method. Now mind you guys, the jailbreaking process does require the use of PC or laptop, so you gotta have one. Alright, now for your convenience, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys quickly how to get your device jailbroken using the Tenorshare guide. First of all, download these two files. You will also be needing one USB flash drive with more than 2 GB capacity. It has to be empty because we will be burning an ISO on it. Alright, once downloaded, go ahead and open up Rufus. Now plug in your USB flash drive into your PC. Once done, you will see the details of your USB drive under the device info. Now you may receive an update to the Rufus software if you are using an older version. Simply go ahead and update it, that will hardly take a minute. After that, tap on the select button and open up your second downloaded file which is the check rain file. After that, hit the start button and then tap on the OK button after choosing the DD image mode. You will get the prompt telling you whatever you have stored on your USB drive is going to be destroyed. Simply tap on OK and the flashing process will begin. Now this is going to take a couple of minutes, just be patient and it will finally be done. Alright, now that you have everything ready, restart your PC 
PC while pressing the F12 key to enter inside of the BIOS setup. Select your USB storage device to boot it up. Once the chakrain setup has booted up, tap on the start button and proceed with the instructions as shown by the software. Now, during this process, you need to keep your iPhone connected with your PC. Soon, you will be asked to put your device into the DFU mode. Now, those of you who are using iPhone A+, Plus, just like me, press and hold the volume down key and the side button while the screen turns black. Release the power button but keep holding the volume down key for another 10 seconds. During this process, your iPhone's screen will remain black but it will be jailbroken during this course of time. Finally, once it's done, you can unplug your iPhone and restart your PC to open up the 4Me key software again. Now, connect your iPhone with your PC again and proceed with the 4Me key software. This time around, you will find your device detected as jailbroken by the software. Tap on the Start Remove button and the software will begin removing the iCloud activation lock from your Apple device. Finally, once it's done, you can get back to your iPhone and set it up from the scratch. This time around, you you won't get the iCloud activation lock screen, but remember guys, not to restart your device because that will put your device into the iCloud activation lock again. As long as you guys have the subscription of the 4Me key software, you can remove the iCloud activation lock with the process that I have shown you guys in this video. Anyways, that's it for today's video, hope you all enjoyed. If you have any queries, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you all next time.